Okay, so we move to rebound damping in the front forks. And uh, if you will recall, we're very, very emphatic about the rebound damping not being too aggressive in the rear end because we believe that's the biggest single cause of crashing. Just as important in the front, the rebound should return as quickly but also as controllably as possible. Currently we have this bike adjusted to a setting that gives it a race winning performance um, and Midge certainly has had no complaints about the front end. So as per our spring sag presentation, we press on the top of the triple clamp of the forks without applying the front brakes. If we apply the front brakes to feel what the front suspension is doing, it really screws up our perception of feel. We are now testing rebound speed, which I'll demonstrate, and this bike should be set up pretty close to the mark. So that's returning quite controllably. It's returning fast enough also that when the bike is accelerating off the turns and the forks are re-extending, 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 the tyre is finding the edge of the track as easily as possible. We're now going to demonstrate something that we see a lot and that's the rebound clickers wound in way too far. So I'll go in a whole bunch of clicks to demonstrate what is wrong. Now bouncing on this again, you can see that that is just horrible. A, the rebound is way too slow, so the tyre is not going to find the track, especially under acceleration. B, you're going to lose a whole load of grip. C, because the uh, damping flow is in both directions, it also makes the compression damping feel harsh. D, you're going to crash and it's going to hurt. Thank you for bearing with my presentation. That's pretty much a snapshot of what is achievable with external adjusters. Uh, as I've been at pains to point out, these external adjusters are not going to magically change the character of your shock, but at least it's going to set you in a window where it's as best as it can be um, with what you've got. Um, it's very important, especially in terms of safety, to have those uh, adjusters all in a sensible place, and I cannot stress enough about the rebound damping. That's the one adjuster on the whole shock that it's critical you get right. Uh, for any professional help beyond that, such as ourselves, CKT, or any prof professional suspension engineer, they'll help you when you need to go a stage further.